Hello, my name is Benjamin Bailey, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to sculpt a zombie head in Blender 2.54. First, let's look at what the final product will look like. Alright, so I sculpted this in about two and a half hours, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to sculpt it, but we're going to be taking a little bit faster. This is a 360. And um, as you can see, we're going to be eating away at the brains. We're going to have the brains be spewing out and put some stitches in, give them some lighting, which I'll throw in from a different file, and make his teeth eroding and an eye open and all that stuff. So let's get started, all right? OK, so first, we want to move our light to a different layer and our camera to a different layer as well by holding down M. Next, we want to um, get rid of the grid, so we hit N and go down to display, twirl that down, and then turn off the grid floor. I'm going to hit N again, and um, we're going to get started. All right, so we do want to keep these uh, two axes on, the red and the green line, the Y and the X, so that we can at least keep an idea of um, our orientation. So, first we're going to go over here to our modifiers, this little wrench, go down to modifiers and turn on subdivision surface. Let's turn it up to three and then we're going to apply it. Okay. Next we turn the shading over here to smooth. That way when we're sculpting we don't have to worry about the edge, the um, topology and we can just focus on the overall shape. Retopologizing it is going to be a different class. So, next we go over and add a multi resolution modifier. This is going to allow us to sculpt the mesh on different levels and be able to transfer to be able to work on the different levels of the subdivision um, along the way. So, we'll get into that later. First, let's go into sculpt mode and get started. Um, actually, we're going to go into edit mode and get it set up a little bit more. Okay, So first what we want to do is we want to make sure there's enough information in the mouth area. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to hit E and then size this down and size it by Z as well and then smooth it out. I'm going to bring it out some, smooth it out. And hopefully this will add enough more detail in the mouth area that we will be able to um, do the teeth later on. Um, second thing we want to do is we want to box select this with B and um, bring this down. Actually, we're going to not select that much. We're going to just actually going to extrude it down. Okay, and we're going to keep the bottom. That way, later on when we have the uh, brains dripping out, we can. Um, use the snake tool to um, bring that out. So we're going to bring this along X and then use control R to cut in a few loops and just try to keep it even. And then we're going to, um, sorry about that, we're going to size this down a little bit. And that's the general idea of the shape we're going for. Next we're going to pop into edit mode, in sculpt mode and we're going to get sculpting away. But first let me save. I'm going to go up and create a new folder. Zombie head tutorial. Then I'm going to go in there and call it the same thing. Alright. So now we're going to sculpt away. The first thing we want to do is we're not going to worry about adding any multi-resolution subdivisions yet. We're going to go over to the grab tool and start adjusting them. So I'm going to use this tutorial as a introduction to sculpting as well as a somewhat advanced um, class in sculpting. So I will be teaching the brushes and we will be using them to make a very weird looking zombie. So over here we have the newly implemented brushes. We have grab, flatten, Fill and filling and deepening things and 
We have the sculpt, the snake hook tool, smooth and flat layer. We're going to be using a number of these brushes today, such as the brush, draw, grab, smoothing, snake hook, and the layer. So those are the main ones we're going to be using today. All right, and we're going to go down and use some of these tools as well. But at first, let's get the general um, shape of him ready first. Now, if you notice, I use the left mouse button to affect things for the sculpting. This only affects one side. And since we're going to be doing a lot of work on the basic mesh of the head first, we want to make sure it has symmetry turned on along the x-axis. So over here, we twirl down symmetry and we check the x-axis. Now when we move it, it does both sides just like a mirror modifier. So let's get working. I'm going to add in the basic shaping out of the face and I'm also going to use the um, brush tool and add a subdivision. So I'm going to do this very quickly. I'm going to speed this part of the video up and then we're going to continue on from there. So I'll be right back.